number one objective of this demonstration is to collect empirical data uh, on these technologies that we can then put into models in model base camps. Uh, the STODI is a models-based systems engineering project. So while we're out here in the field collecting the data on these technologies, the real answer to how much fuel and water and waste we can save is going to come uh, from our models. So the data that we collect out here, we put a lot of time and effort into uh, planning the data collection. It's important to understand that the uh, that the team, is, it generally averages about 30 personnel that we have here at the demonstration, include representatives from each of the technologies uh, that we're managing. And it also includes uh, the STODI personnel from our different functional teams. So I have the, uh, um, the analysts are out here, uh, the systems engineers are out here, I have the data collectors, I have the instrumentation experts. We've established a demonstration operations center. That's the hub of our operation. We start with a, uh, a morning in brief, 7 o'clock every morning. Uh, we make sure everybody understands their task for today. Uh, we give an update to our safety briefing. And we talk about the schedule. Uh, everybody shares whatever issues they might have, whatever support they might need, uh, and, then, and then we send them on their way. During the day, we will schedule a data review. The purpose of the data review is to look at data from the previous day. Uh, so. Well, uh, after the morning meeting, while I'm going around doing all the uh, checks on the technologies, the data team uh, goes to the instruments and downloads or harvests the data from the previous day. And they'll start processing that data. Uh, that may take them up in the mid-morning or so, and then when they're ready, uh, I'll bring in what I think of as the data stakeholders, the analysts, the systems engineers, the technology providers, and we will, we will take a chance right then to look at the data from yesterday. And if there's any issues, we'll investigate those problems. Uh, we'll review what caused certain anomalies uh, in the data. I've mentioned data harvest. I've mentioned data review. Uh, another key thing that we do out here in the field um, is we authenticate our data set. After we've had a chance to review it, uh, we will schedule periodic authentication uh, meetings. And I modeled this after uh, ATEX processes for data authentication. I'll bring in each of the team leaders uh, from the functional teams on the STO-D or their designated representative. And we'll conduct a formal review of that data and we'll get concurrence from each of those functional teams that that data set accurately, accurately represents what happens on the ground. And they'll have questions sometimes and uh, we'll answer those questions. We might have to do a little bit of research. Uh, but the end of the demonstration, after the series of data authentication group meetings, uh, we'll have a data set that we're confident represents what happened on the ground. Towards the end of the day, uh, we'll have an out brief that I like to call a hot wash. Um, we'll bring everybody back together and we'll get a, a recap of how it went today. I'll, I'll ask each of the technologies involved uh, if there were any major issues, what were the major accomplishments. Three major demonstrations this fiscal year. Well, last October, uh, we completed a demonstration at the BSIL, the Base Camp Integration Laboratory at Fort Devens, Massachusetts. Uh, that demonstration featured four technologies, and we centered that around a base camp for 50-man size. And the second one, uh, we call this our 1,000-man camp demonstration because the technologies that we bring to this venue uh, can be transitioned into base camps of that size, 1,000 uh, uh, personnel or so. Uh, and then the third, we're going to go back to the BCL and we're going to have, uh, uh, we're going to demonstrate technologies that are suitable for a 300-man camp.